Good morning and welcome to worship today, friends. We gather from the west to the east, from the south to the north, to celebrate the God of peace who accompanies us in all our acts of peace. The God of peace accompanies us to each and every circumstance around us. And we praise God's holy name today. Again, welcome to worship with us in Manitowoc Cooperative Ministry, where we are the heart of the lake shore. Mm -hmm. I'm coming to you from the historic sanctuary of First Presbyterian Church this morning. And Pastor Judine, who would normally be at Peace United Church of Christ from their beautiful sanctuary, is in quarantine as part of her need um, to leave us, um, sadly. But welcome, Judine. We're glad that you can still join us and preach God's word today. Oh, I'm so, it's, my heart is filled uh, with love to be here today. So uh, I'm probably going to stumble over a lot of things, but I want to say first and foremost to all of you watching, peace be with you today and peace be with you, brother, as we move through worship today. So today, just so you know, it is Worldwide Communion and Peace Sunday. And so we're going to try some new things. You know that every couple months we're upgrading um, the, our, our videos and, and how we do things. Today we're going to try things a little bit more live. We are aware that there's going to be a little bit of downtime in between as we transition, or particularly me at this moment, from pulpit to table. And we just um, want you to know that that is not necessarily a problem with your computer. Um, it may just be that we need a little bit of transition time and um, use those times to praise God, to use the chat room on Facebook and check in with folks to think about what peace means, what it means to come together as people of God from all over um, this country and, and all over the world. So there is no downtime with God. There's only downtime with video. So let us continue today or one of the things I want to share with you is we've got a lot of international videos that we're going to be using today through our um, Presbyterian Church mission um, agency put together a number of videos and so you'll hear different languages but most of them have the English um, on the screen for you as a way that we remember that we are not just Christians in Manitowoc or Wisconsin or in the United States, but we are the children of God everywhere. Mm -hmm. So friends, welcome and let us worship the Lord. Let us. Let us pray. Mwari wedu. Musiki wedu, nyadenga wedu. Bless us with discomfort at easy answers, half-truths and superficial relationships. Bless us with anger at injustice, oppression and the exploitation of people. Bless us with tears to shed for those who suffer from pain, rejection, starvation and war. Bless us with enough foolishness to believe that we can make a difference in this world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us continue our worship today as we join in singing where charity and love prevail.
continue with our time of confession. Please join me in your hearts for our call to confession. Come, let us gather ourselves in the peaceful arms of Christ, acknowledging that we are not perfect while acknowledging that we are forgiven. Let us confess our brokenness and find the peace of Christ that passed all understanding. Let us pray. Today, God, we confess our fumblings and failure in accomplishing unity as we set aside yet another day to remind ourselves of the task. On this World Communion Sunday, give us eyes to recognize your reflection in the eyes of Christians everywhere. Forgive us for not seeing diversity as the blessing of our unity. Give us a mind to accept and celebrate our differences. Give us a heart big enough to love your children everywhere. We thank you for setting a table with space enough for us all. Amen. Friends, you have heard the good news of Christ today. We are indeed forgiven. So know that in these waters of baptism, each one of us has been made a new creation in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Alleluia. Amen. Now that we have been reminded that not only do we sin, but more importantly, that we are forgiven, let us join together with brothers and sisters all over this world. The Kurupirida, Munguatate, one Pamvionse, Olenka Zakuman Pantiza Pansi. In Jesu Christo, su único hijo, Señor nuestro. Jenž se počal z Ducha Svatého, narodil se z Marie Pany, die geleden heeft onder Pontius Pilatus, is gekruisigd, gestorven en begraven, nedergedaald ter helle. Tim triti mera na standa po ton nekron, anelfonda stus uranus, kathezomenon en dexia theu patros pandodinam. Afiannu hia fini tsakwan pilda sinma. Kamatao se wang zaina perunyan borisut, la shilman nesa kun pritzak borisut, a test feltámadását és az örök életet. Amen. Amen. together and prepare to hear God's word read and proclaimed today. Let us pray the prayer of illumination. Holy Spirit, grant us openness and give us understanding of what each one of us needs to receive through Holy Scripture. When we are facing a difficult choice between the easy and the right decision, help us to choose the narrow path. We also pray for all who are about to set on an adventurous journey of faith anywhere in the world. Amen. Hearing our story from the Gospel of Matthew's fifth chapter. So when you are offering your gift at the altar, if you remember that your brother or sister has something against you, 
leave your gift there before the altar and go first be reconciled to your brother or sister and then come and offer your gift. And hearing our story from the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 18. If it is possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Amen. Our anthem this morning is shared by Ann Strom Gold and, of course, Julie on the piano. We Thank you, Anne, for sharing this gift, and we remember your birthday that took place um, and celebrate you on this special day for you. This is the word of God. And thank you very, very much and happy 70th birthday to you. <laughs> Friends, welcome to a time of reflection on these two scripture passages that are calling us to something that I think is really, really difficult, especially in this time. So today that we're understanding how these scriptures are supporting uh, peace and also Worldwide Communion Sunday, I wanna just unfold this for us uh, a little bit. Today for Worldwide Communion Sunday, Christian denominations all over the world, as you heard Pastor Matt mention in the beginning, they're worshiping all in their own unique ways. The same thing that we're all worshiping, and that is the victory already won in the resurrection. Our scriptures today are about the peace that the resurrection gives to us. A peace that can only and always be in when we remember God. Thus, again, the ultimate symbol of remembering God lies in Jesus himself, in remembering him. We do remember that he told us at the Last Supper, as he celebrated that with his friends, literally saying, remember me. And we also remember that he told us, remember me and I will give you peace. 
Remembering Jesus is to remember God. And to remember God is to know peace. To take and eat this body of Christ on this Worldwide Communion Sunday, it's so beautifully symbolic of our collective unity in diversity. I mean, we do it when we gather for worship ourselves as churches, individual local congregations, and it has the same unity and diversity, but also it's just so beautiful on Worldwide Communion Sunday how magnificent this unity in diversity really is. Our Worldwide Communion Sunday and our individual Sundays in our local congregations, they're full of people of color, shades of white and black, all of us remembering who we are and whose we are. Each of us, a child of God. Each looking and acting differently, but each making up the same love and made up of the same love often referred to in the church as the image of God, that we are created in the same image of God. How else would we have gotten here if not having been created in the image of God? And in today's Matthew reading, we hear where Jesus has to actually ask us to check ourselves about remembering this. He knows that we forget our oneness, he even knows that we may never have understood it at all. So we hear today how he's teaching us about our forgetfulness, especially before we come to truly worship. So before we come to the table of love with any sense of righteousness or entitlement, he teaches us to pause and recall the log in our eye first. He teaches us to pause and recall any judgment or grudge that we have for another on our heart. Where forgetting God, forgetting God who is disguised within our brother, who is camouflaged within our sister, who is cloaked among our LGBT communities, who appears to be simulated in our governments, but rather does reign deep, deep within the tissue of each and every person, each and every politician, and each and every evangelist even if they're claiming to know the one and only true nature of God. All of this forgetting God in any way, shape, or form is what forbids peace. To Jesus, we really hear today that peace is a moral imperative because it really indicates a person's remembering or the lack of remembering God. So to forget God, that's a huge concern and crisis for humanity. And Jesus teaches us that, thus a moral imperative. He teaches us that reconciling with your neighbor for whatever reason is a deep ethic in Christ for one reason and one reason only, because of love. So anything other than peace, whether it be hatred, malicious quarreling, vengeful thinking, they're all foreign or alien to our true nature. 
in my opinion, that's the only time we can use the word foreign or alien. People aren't foreign or are aliens as we too often hear in the public voice. What's foreign or alien is anything opposite of love. Anything that tries to distinguish us other than our true nature of love. With that, friends, this message today is really about a confession. I don't know about you, but I haven't remembered God, at least not consistently, for a long time now. I know this, and perhaps you do too, because I'm not feeling a whole lot of peace these days. War waging type living, it's both all around us and it's within us. I try to remember the very thing that I promote and teach and repeat, and that is to live, to love, and that I am love. But my ego wants to pick up the sword of justice and swing it all around, proving just how deep my amnesia of love is rooted. It's hard to remember God. It's hard to love when you're in the fire and don't believe that, you know, God's got this. But instead somehow believe as ridiculous as it sounds that my swirling sword of fear is going to do right by me. Jesus teaches us, son and daughter, remember that the sword doesn't fall on your targeted person, but falls on you. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. Wouldn't you agree, along with all your siblings in Christ all over the world, this Worldwide Communion Sunday and every Sunday and every day, that it takes significant discipline to resist the reflex to go for the sword, whether verbally or physically, and instead, Breathe into your own heart. So today, post-confession, I offer an invitation. One for you to take with you as you remember Jesus, as you remember me, as I depart from my ministry here and one for me to take with me as I remember you. To choose today to go beyond trying, we can do it. We can go beyond trying and actually covenant with yourself to choose to return to love. To join me today to go beyond trying and choose to rest, rest yourself in your divine source rather than believe that your quality of life depends on you. To join me today to go beyond trying and actually choose to deflate the conflict around you so as to literally expose peace within you. To choose today to go beyond trying and actually give peace. 
and to choose today to go beyond trying and to really, really want the peace of God that surpasses all understanding, to truly want the peace of God, P-E-A-C-E, rather than just a piece of God, P-I-E-C-E. -E. Friends, as Jesus said to us and says to us still, peace be with you, because it is. Amen. Amen. Thank you for those words of hope and of peace today, my beloved friend. We continue our worship with singing, make me a channel of your peace. If you haven't done so already, we encourage you to take time on the Facebook chat and type in whatever prayers you might have. They may be prayers of celebration, prayers of concern, prayers of hope, prayers of despair. Share them with us. And so we can try to gather them all together, not only in our communal prayer today, but also that we may carry them throughout the week with us in our times of prayer. We come now to that time of offering where we're invited to respond to the incredible gift of God's grace and peace that has been shared with us. Your regular offerings are important to us and we thank you for those of you who have been able to maintain those offerings our ministry has changed a lot in the last six or seven months, but it is still an incredible ministry. We're still doing education and mission work. We're still holding worship and provide an open door for people to come in different ways to have their needs met both through prayer and through compassion. As you know, throughout the month of September, we have been hosting 
our special offering, our extra giving opportunities through the Peace and Global Witness offering of the Presbyterian Church USA and the Neighbors in Need offering of the United Church of Christ. If you haven't done so already and made a special offering to these particular missions, please do so. Know that these offerings do not stay with us, but are shared both nationally and internationally through the United Church of Christ and the Presbyterian Church USA. It is one way on this World Communion and Peace Sunday that we remember that we are connected and we say thank you, God, for allowing us to be connected and not just have these moments by to ourselves. If you're wondering how you make your offering, you can go to our website, mcmunited.com, and you'll see two opportunities for online giving, one through Venmo, which allows a direct transfer, no fees involved from your bank account. The other is through the Presbyterian Foundation, but it can receive funds for either church, um, mostly if you're using credit card. But of course, you can still just drop that old fashioned way into the mail and share with us whatever you need to give. And we are happy to receive your offerings, both in physical form and virtual form and through the gift of prayer. So thank you each and every one of you for your incredible generosity. So today we come to the joyful feast of the people of God. I invite us to take a few deep breaths as we transition to the Lord's table. Friends, we gather here at this table, God's beloved table, so that we can remember that no matter where we come from, that we belong to God, that we are God's beloved children. The invitation goes out from the ancient words that people will come from east and west and north and south. They will come from their homes and from their churches, from their living rooms and their hospital rooms. They will come from international places we cannot imagine, and they will come from as near as next door. All will come and will gather at this table, the Lord's table, which has been prepared. So let us now take this time to give all glory and praise to God. Let us pray. Most gracious God, we are thankful that you are here among us. We are thankful that you created us in the beginning of time when the world was nothing but a watery chaos. Your love and your grace brought order. And out of that order, you breathe. And life, our life, came into being. And so now, O oh Lord, we invite you once again to breathe new upon us. So that in these times of uncertainty, in these times of anxiety, we may feel and know your breath and your peace will wash over us. We remember this day that we are not your only chosen ones, that all people have been chosen by you to be your beloved community. And so we remember that we are gathered with them from every time and every place. And we join together lifting up prayers for the world. And now, O oh Lord, we come to you with the prayers of our own congregation, with our own hopes and fears, and we lift them up to you. 
Lord, hear us as we share our prayers. Oh God of love, enter our minds, help our self to become your self as we pray for your holiness to be upon these lifted up. We pray for John and Alicia that your holiness surround them as they grieve the death of both of John's parents due to COVID. Thank you for giving them that deep peace that only you can give. We pray for students everywhere who are going strictly into virtual distant learning. Not all students have homes that are equipped to support this. We pray for your holiness to protect and encourage and support. For Cheryl's mom, we pray for your holiness, O oh God to be upon her and her family as she transitions into assisted living, making a new home away from home. We ask for your holiness, loving God, to be upon our brothers and sisters in Christ who are living with cancer, for in the Manitowoc Cooperative Ministry, we joyfully and trustingly lift up to you our brother Jan and Lane, Tom, Dennis, and Paul, and our sister Kim. And we thank you for your holiness transforming their cancer into hope and healing. Oh God, we pray for your holiness to surround all health care workers in this time of pandemic. May they be given the holiness of your strength. We ask for your holiness to bless all those people who have to go the extra mile and do so with great love in their hearts to bring about a peaceful and a loving experience toward people who are healing and on the front lines, working extra hours and just simply surviving in these challenging days. Oh God, we ask for your holiness to be around all of our brothers and sisters in Christ who share in this Worldwide Communion Sunday as they celebrate the bread and the cup symbolizing all our oneness. May we literally be transitioned into individuality from individuality into wholeness that they may all be one. And we celebrate to this day, O oh God, the gift of good and faithful servants in the church, our leadership on councils and sessions, our leadership and staff, our music people. We thank you for how they all point to you to give divine evidence that your holiness surrounds. We ask for your blessing today in celebration of birthdays to Lily as she moves into a place of leadership in the co-op. And we ask for your blessing upon our sister in Christ, Joe May, as she too celebrates a birthday this day and blessings upon our sister in Christ, Anne. May all these prayers, O oh God, be heard with the greatest of humility from our hearts. And we thank you 
for your divine solution. We pray all this in Jesus' name, and now join our voices in praying the prayer that he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy kingdom and the power and glory forever. Amen. 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 Friends, we come together at this table to break bread and to share the cup. When our Lord was at supper with his disciples, they gathered both in physical and in spirit. And we gathered and we gather with them. On the night in which our Lord was betrayed, he took bread, he gave thanks to God and he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body given for you. Whenever you eat of this bread, remember me. For together we are the body of Christ, take eat. In the same way, after the supper, our Lord took a cup, and again he gave thanks to God, saying, Blessed are you, O Lord our God, ruler of all the universe. Thank you for the fruit of the vine. And then he poured into it and he gave it to them, saying, Take, drink, all of you, this is my blood poured out for you for the forgiveness of sins. Therefore, sisters and brothers, whenever we eat from this loaf and we drink from this cup, we proclaim the Lord's saving death until God comes again in the fullness of time. This is God's peace. This is God's grace. This is God's love for us. If you haven't done so already, go and get the elements in your own home, whatever they may be, bread and cup of any nature, and bring them together and share. And we will sing together the song, Come to the Table of Grace.
Kuna, Señor Parsenarman Kaya y Kusunchis, Kusiska Causa Sunchis. Esta é a mesa para a qual Jesus nos convida. Vamos participar com alegria. Talanta Mesha, Cristo te ligou. Como é que é sumessa? Ha enya ne no hendabe. Ne no mo ilumina. Vou abrir de ver. Esta é a mesa a la que Jesus nos invita. Participemos. All are welcome at the table. All are welcome at the church. All are welcome in the hearts of God and God's people. Friends, this has indeed been the joyful feast of the people of God. Let us pray. Most gracious God, as you have once again entered us in this special way, let your spirit living within us send us out to be peacemakers in the world. Wherever there is injustice, let us bring justice. Whenever there is violence, let us sow love. So come, Lord Jesus, and use us as your disciples and your servants and your peacemakers. Amen. Let us now join together in participating in a liturgy of separation departure for our beloved Pastor Judine. During this time, you will have the opportunity to respond by reading what's on the screen. You're also again invited to use the chat function in Facebook to answer the questions and to share your appreciation and thanks even as we go through this formal time. Our church family is constantly changing. People come and go. Babies are born, children grow. Uh oh. Sorry about that. Let's try that again. Our church family is constantly changing. People come and go. Babies are born, children grow up. People commit themselves to one another. Loved ones and friends among us come to the end of their lives. Individuals move into our community and church life. Others leave us. Moving away to new places, new experiences, and new opportunities. It is important and right that we recognize these times of passage of endings and beginnings. Today, we share the time of farewell with our co-pastor who is leaving. In September 2015, St. John's United Church of Christ called Dean Durbacher to serve as pastor and teacher. In the summer 2016, Dean helped develop what became formalized in 2017 as Manitowoc Cooperative Ministry, a covenanted partnership of Peace United Church of Christ and First Presbyterian Church. I thank Manitowoc Cooperative Ministry, First Presbyterian Church, Peace United Church of Christ, members, friends, and staff for the love and kindness and support shown to me these last five years. I ask forgiveness for the mistakes that I have made, and I'm grateful for the ways that my leadership has been accepted. As I leave, I carry with me all that I have learned here. We receive your thankfulness, offer forgiveness, and accept that you now leave ministry with and to us. We express our gratitude for your time among us. We ask your forgiveness for our mistakes. Your influence on our faith and faithfulness will not leave us at your departure. I forgive you and accept your gratitude trusting that our time together and our party are pleasing to God. Do you, the members and friends of Manitowoc Cooperative Ministry, Peace United Church of Christ, and First Presbyterian Church, release Judine from the duties of pastor and teacher? We do, 
help of God. And do you, Judean, release these congregations from turning to you and depending upon you? I do, with the help of God. Do you offer encouragement for and blessings upon the continued ministry here and upon MCM's continuing relationship with me as their pastor? I do, with the help of God. On behalf of the Wisconsin Conference of the United Church of Christ, the Northeast Association, I witness to the words spoken, words of thankfulness, forgiveness, and release. We hold you in prayer and we pledge support in the transition signified in this service. On behalf of Winnebago Presbytery and the Presbyterian Church USA, I witness to these words spoken, words of thankfulness, forgiveness, and release. We hold you in prayer and pledge support in the transitions signified in this service. Thanks be God. Let us pray. God, whose everlasting love for all is trustworthy, help each of us to trust the future which rests in your care. The time we were together in your name saw our laughter and tears, our hopes and disappointments. Guide us as we hold these cherished memories, but move in new directions until that time to come when we are completely one with you and with each other. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. We are grateful. We are thankful. We are blessed. My dear friend and colleague, Judine, that you have been with us. We said the formal words and you know it to be true. You have gifted us in so many ways and that will never leave us. We remember that we have many things in our ministry that continue on. You get our weekly news, you can see those and read those. If you don't and you would like to, just make sure we get your email and you can get those sent to us. And if email is not the right avenue for you, let us know your address and we'll make sure that those get sent or delivered to you in some way. We want to remind you that every Thursday we do have a version of in-person worship out in the back parking lot at Peace UCC from 6 to 6.30. We've been having parking lot praise. We're going to continue to do that as long as we can with the sun setting sooner and it getting colder out. It gets harder, but it is still a wonderful time, even if you're just seeing your neighbors through the windows of cars. But we're finding ways that we can honk our horns and flash our car lights and remind each other that we are indeed all together. All you need to do is just have your radio in your car on to the right channel and we'll be able to help you with that. So please join us and bring a friend. We continue our community dinners from five to six on Wednesday evenings, handing those out. We're moving into a new phase in the dinners as we've realized that what was temporary is now more permanent way of doing them. And there's different ways that you can help. There's people that need to pick up food and prep food on Tuesdays. There's folks to help um, get food into the condo containers and packing what we call the goodie bags. There's people to run them out to the cars. We're looking for folks who particularly feel called to help lead in prayer. Those who may call up or pull up in their car and we ask them what their prayers may be. There's a lot of behind the scenes things. We're looking for guest chefs that can come and join us for a week using our food and to give some of our volunteers an extra break. There's all sorts of ways that you can be involved. So continue to do that. <clears throat> We invite you to join us before and after worship at our morning fellowship. Again, if you're on Facebook, that link is going into the chat box. 
now if you don't have that um, you can just click on there um, today i hope is an extra special time to celebrate with judeen if you're looking for different ways to stay connected please watch our facebook page mcm united like us on there and you'll be uh, get a little notification whenever we post new things such as our daily devotions that are posted uh, ideally every morning we also have a youtube channel again if you like and you subscribe to get that you'll get notices when we're doing things our children's ministry continues on that youtube channel our daily devotions are there we also have our monday bible zoom and watch your weekly news because next week you're going to start hearing about a a three-week adult study that will be taking place later in October. We're going to try to do that at both a daytime and an evening opportunity so that most people can participate. We're also going to be starting our confirmation class in November. So if you are in seventh or eighth grade and or you know of somebody who might be interested in participating in confirmation, uh, briefly what that is, is it, it's an exploration of what it means to be a follower of Christ. And we would love to have you. And just again, let me know so we can make sure you get the right materials. We're here for you. Call us, email us, so we can respond to you with the compassion and the love. Help us be better at being a church by reaching out and making sure that all of us are connected. Pastor Judine, do you have any special announcements um, that I didn't hit on today? Well, I want to offer the blessing. And after we sing Go Now in Peace, I have just a couple things that I want to say if we could do that. So without further ado, I invite you to receive the blessing of peace this day. And I give myself to you with the words that I always use as I offer blessings. Our tradition is to raise up one hand and place out the other in service. As you leave this worship service here, seeking peace, giving peace, Know that you can only do so as you love God so much that you love nothing else too much. And know that you can only do so trusting God so much that you need not fear anything else at all. Let God's people say, Amen. 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 Let's go ahead and keep our videos on, Judine, as we share our closing song and then you'll be there to be able to share what you would like to be able to share with us so um it looks like my slides um something different might have happened let's just roll with it judine okay I'm not 
Watching, <laughs> we love you. You know that. There's so much meaning in those pictures. I remember every single moment of those. Yeah, in a picture, there's a what do they say? A thousand words. So meaningful. Um, I don't even recognize, you know, sometimes myself in ministry. It's like, oh, who is that nice lady, you know? Um, I meant every smile, every hug, every kid. I meant every single moment of it. Well, that's at Lane's house. Those cats just crawled all over me. Oh, my God. <laughs> You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. I can't believe you're this big picture. When the road looks rough ahead and you're miles and miles from a nice warm bed. Oh, I just remember what your mouth said. Yeah, you got a friend in me. Girl, you got a Smaller than I am, bigger and stronger too. 
Mark. Thanks. You don't make it very easy to <laughs> depart, do you? Oh my gosh, I'm feeling this grief all over again, like the night we shared this with, or I shared this with our council in session. Uh, re just a reminder, friends, it, it has been an arduous decision. And I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything. So much love and support and mercy given. I mean, you saw all those pictures of me with these bad hair days. I mean, all you do is give me mercy over and over again to look like a stribble cuff, as my grandfather used to say. So thank you for that. You know, I'm, I'm my best self when I'm with you. That, I, that is when I'm my best self. When I am not with the church, I'm doing things like I preached about today, swirling swords of things around. So thank you so much for showing me my best self. And what I wanna ask of you is, we need to do this together. We need to pray for the co-op. It is an ex it's an excellent model of ministry. We have led the way. We have shined our light. We need to pray for the co-op. Other, other churches are watching you. And in that prayer is to be praying for Pastor Matt. This is not something that he should do, quote, by himself. He doesn't do it by himself, but you know what I mean. To be praying for him and to volunteer to support the ministries. And please also take care of one another. This isn't something that any one pastor does. It's what you do as the church to take care of one another. We have 50 people on our member care list, friends, and a member care team who can't do all of it either. Please take care of one another and visit those people who are homebound and shut in by a phone call now because of COVID. Send them cards. Let them know that you remember their investment in the church. So thank you. And as always, just remember to live to love. Thank you. How about we sing now? Everybody at home, if you're still with us, sing loud and sing strong. Oh, <laughs> 
to invite you all to jump over to our fellowship time that will come on in just a moment. And there will be in Zoom where you can talk directly to Judine if you want to. If we end up with a whole bunch of folks in there, we'll move some folks into small groups and, uh, and do some of those things. But have a beautiful week and then may the peace of God rest upon each and every one of you. Peace and grace. Yeah. Peace be with you, all of you.